Hey guys, I'm Heather Nicole. Sorry about the ice pack. I had to hurt my rib. Um, <coughs> I uh, ended up um, using well uh, uh, the seven lightener um, that lifts your hair seven colors. Um, but I still have this red tone. I used to put the Ion, um, actually this does the best, is the snow cap, Ion is the snow cap for the toner. But today, um, I also just tried the Icy White T18. Um, <laughs> this is the generic at Sally's. They do have the generics now. <coughs> so, I was gonna try the 12, the Frosty Ash, you know, to try to get the yellow tone out. Um, let me get on my other lights. Again, I'm sorry for the ice pack. I'm out of work due to me hurting a rib. But, I know my hair's already blonde. It's not too bad, but still, it kind of bothers me that I have the, like, yellow in my hair. But I'm not going to use very much of this. This is the 12A. This is the Frosty Ash. Now, um, when the other one is the Icy White. So, um... The icy white didn't really get it white at all. Um, it just, I don't know. Just, I don't even know why it's even called icy white because it really don't help any at all. Um, what we're gonna do? We're gonna do half and half. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see how this goes. Oh, so I'm pouring half. This I got my little bowl from Sally's, my little purple brush, and I'm just gonna do a little bit of this, and go back because this is 12A, so it's totally different. Let's not use a 30. 30 is for something else. It it also is good for my sheep wool skin, I mean, not skin, but um, carpet that I have uh, to get the stains out as it's white. Okay, so I'm mixing it in the bowl right now. I might have put too much developer, actually. But this is supposed to be, and I've heard great reviews, like, off of um, YouTube and stuff, so... Uh, put some in there to even it out some. It's got more of a purple tone. I just seen that in here. I did see that. This one's more of a frosty um, white, as I read to you before. A frosty ash. Um, as far as the Wella 18, it's more of a gray. Like I said, I usually do the snow cap to get out all the uh, yellow. And I'm gonna use these strands where I've got like, <laughs> like tones of uh, orange in there. You see that? So we're gonna mix that in well. My hair is real thin anyway, so let's just go with the flow. What about that? <laughs> Alright, so we got some right there on the side. I'm just going to brush it in. <laughs> no. mm. Let's see. Definitely in the back. Yeah, definitely right there. I have a lot. Oh, 
want spells, then so be it, you know. Let's just get the whole thing and just get into the root. Okay. Not that. I'm just going to use a little bit anyway. Get it going. back here. The frosty ash. Get the red tones out. And then we'll do the other side. Do you see a little bit coming out of there, right here? Um, as you can see, you don't see much like you did before. But like, I like to use I like to use the snow cap anyway. So um, it's starting to turn kind of pale up here. So what I do is I uh, I wash it off, of course. Because we don't want it to be too, too like uh, ah, like that. I'm just gonna put it on some of the highlights. Um, and kind of just rub it in for a few minutes because you don't want to leave it on too like too long. You just want it enough to get the uh, yellow tones out, of course, of your hair. Um, This is actually working really good. Getting out the orange. <laughs> I don't like this one. You have to put it heavy on some areas due to the redness <laughs> of some. Massaging it in because you do want the red tones out completely. I 
don't have as much. Actually, it's better than my skin cap. So you want to leave it on a few minutes, um, but you don't want it to get too, like, too, like, like, gray looking, like, frosty gray, so, um, so far it says dark blonde back there, and and the red tones are about gone, so the corrector plus and guess what it turned pink yep here we go let's see pink mm -hmm. I'm just going to slap all that in make sure all the color is out from my hair Just to see what colors, because I usually buy everything. Um, certain things that I use, it works better than before. It's like my hair gets used to certain products and just doesn't work anymore. So I know I'm gonna have to lift some of that red later on because I never had an issue before. I think it just got in the way and I ran out of white lightener. Instead of using like, if you don't want to damage your head, like uh, the 20 volume or the 30 volume, you can always use traditional with your Wella products, your colors. You do still see a little bit of red, but not like you did before. Yeah. And a lot 
lot of that red comes from <laughs> comes from um what was I gonna say? <laughs> a lot of that red comes from what I had before as I I ran like I said I ran out of the Wella. I usually buy this. The Wella that lives like seven <laughs> It lifts like seven levels or lifts the whole max. And Sally's do have generic. Um, I do use a 20, but if I've already bleached my hair and then I've toned it and it still has red tones like it does now, I mean, the red, I probably end up turning blonde again. <laughs> But it is definitely gone. That, I mean, that bright brassy red is gone right now. So, as you can see, as it, as it dries, it actually don't have hardly any red. It's just the way the light's hitting it. Actually, except for right back there, which later on, like in a few weeks, I'll be touching that up. Um, but it is not brassy like it was before. Not brassy at all. So, that does actually work. I kind of like that. But normally, I, I use Snow Cap, the Ion Snow Cap. I did try the Icy White T18. Um, that's more of a gray, but the, I use the 12A, 1210, um, and that is for frosty ash, so that means like white, so that did a whole lot better. Um, the front of it's kind of dark right there from the T18 because it, it turns it light and then all of a sudden they'll turn it dark, but keep massaging it in until you find the color you want and then wash it out immediately. Or it's gonna start darkening. <laughs> but, um, a lot of people use the T14 as well. I don't have pale. I like to um, use my um, hair extensions, which are bright white. Um, I'm going to see exactly what this looks like as soon as my hair dries. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm excited. I'm very excited, by the way. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, as I told you before, I used the bottom hat. I really didn't have much to do my whole hair earlier, but... <laughs> I had to go back to Sally's. I got my foam, my brush, and I've got that all washed. Um, and then um, afterwards, you can style, blow dry, whatever. And the more it dries, the more it dries, the, as you already know, it lightens up. But I really, really do like the... <laughs> Like I said, I do the snow cap because when I first put it on, I go ahead and massage it real fast and it'll go ahead and start turning a white color. But that 12 did an absolutely good job on my hair and I love it. Um, I'm gonna wait about two or three weeks. I'm gonna uh, do my roots again um, with a 20. And as you can see, it's just the angle of the light that's making it look red. Thanks for staying tuned. If you have any questions, comments, uh, just give me a holler. Again, I used the 12A. Um, that did really, really good. It's kind of like the Ion Snow Cap, so to get it a platinum, but I love it. And I'm pretty sure you will too. And that was my first time using it, so hopefully it works good on you too.
Thanks, guys.